coming up on today's episode of the AMA Drone Report. Paris Zero celebrates 20 waivers for flight over people. The 2019 women to watch in UAS list is released. And lawmakers seek to ban the U.S. government from buying Chinese drones. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Since Part 107 came into effect the summer of 2016, UAS operators in the United States have attempted to figure out how to get FAA approval to operate over people. These attempts had very limited success as thousands of waiver applications were rejected. However, that changed this past June. Hensel Phelps, a general contractor out of Colorado, successfully secured a 107.39 for operations over people using the new Parazero Safe Air Plus ASTM Professional Kit. The ASTM compliant Safe Air system has proven to be the only truly scalable solution for operations over people. In the three months since the Hensel Phelps waiver, a total of 20 waivers for operations over people have been approved. Parazero notes that they are pleased to be working with some of the most innovative UAS companies in the world. It's time for today's Drone Minute, where we'll be taking a quick look at news making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. NASA's next destination will be Saturn's unique and richly organic moon Titan. The nuclear-powered rotorcraft Dragonfly will launch in 2026 and arrive on the icy moon in 2034, flying to multiple locations looking for prebiotic chemical processes common on both Titan and Earth. The FAA has posted temporary flight restrictions for two locations around Area 51 in anticipation of the Storm the Area 51 event. The southern end of the test and training range will have a TFR in effect from tomorrow until Monday the 23rd, prohibiting any flight up to 18,000 feet. The second TFR will be near the town of Rachel, Nevada, where a music festival called Alien Stock is supposed to be taking place. The TFR will only go up to 7,000 feet and is in effect from today until Monday the 23rd. Third. The commercial drone market is forecast to rise over 25% by 2024, according to a new report from Global Market Insights. The growth during the forecast period is due to the increased application across sectors like agriculture, delivery, media, and real estate. Since its inception, commercial UAVs have been used for capturing photographs and videos for various user purposes. However, the product's capabilities have led to increasing applications across various industries in the past couple of years. The Kansas Department of Transportation Division of Aviation has received authorization from the FAA to conduct UAS test flights at Wichita's Dwight D. Eisenhower National Airport. Planned inspection missions include obstruction analysis, foreign object detection, wildlife hazard management, and airfield emergency response. Now back to the rest of the news. Women and Drones announced the 2019 Women to Watch in UAS list. The award is designed to acknowledge women business leaders, innovators, mentors, and visionaries who are making an impact on the drone industry and paving the way for others to follow. This year's honorees are Amrita Lal of Fiji. Lal serves as a regional coordinator at South Pacific Fly Lab. She uses drones to prepare quick and effective reporting methods for remote communities. Evangeline Corcoran of Australia. As a quantitative ecologist, Corcoran's research revolves around the development of new detection and population modeling techniques for wildlife using drones, thermal imaging, and machine learning. Megan Salter of the USA. The West Virginia public school teacher and FAA-certified remote pilot has been incorporating drone technology into her curriculum for the past four years. Hitomi Umatsu of Singapore. Umatsu had a vision of making the Sky a new communication platform, which led to her co-founding Sky Magic Drone Swarming Technology Company in 2017. Don Zoldi of the USA. Don Zoldi is Associate General Counsel Business Matters Attorney for the United States Air Force Academy, Secretary of the Air Force General Counsel. 
Senators Rick Scott, Chris Murphy, Tom Cotton, Josh Hawley, Richard Blumenthal, and Marco Rubio introduced the American Security Drone Act of 2019, which prohibits the U.S. government from purchasing drones manufactured in countries identified as national security threats like Iran and China. The American Security Drone Act prohibits federal departments and agencies from procuring any foreign commercial off-the-shelf drone or covered unmanned aircraft system manufactured or assembled in countries identified as national security threats and provides a timeline to end current use of these drones. Prohibits the use of federal funds awarded through contracts, grants, or cooperative agreements to state or local governments from being used to purchase foreign commercial off-the-shelf drones or covered unmanned aircraft systems manufactured or assembled in a country identified as a national security threat. Requires the Comptroller General of the United States to submit a report to Congress detailing the amount of foreign commercial off-the-shelf drones and covered unmanned aircraft systems procured by federal departments and agencies from countries identified as national security threats. And that wraps up this week's episode of the AMA Drone Report. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the exciting hobby drone world, just head over to modelaircraft.org. I'll see you tomorrow.